We're going to start to try and knock here. That last transmission didn't come across. On two radios. Alright. Police. What? Police. Over the past year, you may have heard of the Erie Police Department, Pennsylvania, U.S. Marshals, Erie and Pittsburgh, and the Pennsylvania State Police raided the home of a 52-year-old man with early onset dementia without a warrant. And in fact, the judge denied their request for a warrant that morning. They still raided the house. Threatened the homeowner at gunpoint, lied to him to get into the house, and found nothing. In fact, they didn't even have the right house. After a year requesting all the body-worn camera footage of 20 Erie police officers, 9 U.S. Marshals, and several Pennsylvania State Police, the U.S. Marshal has released the body-worn camera this week. They also released redacted memo, notes, reports relating to the warrantless raid. We do have all that body-worn camera footage and the documents of the FBI investigation. I will be dropping Lance Thornton's original channel link in the description for you guys. Make sure to go subscribe and show him some support. Lance Thornton has become a friend of mine. He is an amazing family man. And this guy is doing some big things that we'll discuss at the end of this video. There is a massive lawsuit filed for over $3 million. We'll give you those details at the end as well. Let's check out this video. I'll pause for some comments and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Who else in the house me? Just me. Stop doing your Yeah. Yep. Come down. Go out right there. What the hell's going on? Who else in the house with you, sir? Mr. Thornton, who else in the house with you? Okay. Who else is in the house? Nobody. No one else in the house. I swear to you right now. Whose vehicle is that thing? Let's do this work. You guys have freaking guns. Oh, okay, I'm going to pull my phone out of my pocket. Okay? I'm going to pull my phone out of my pocket. I'm just going to start recording. I police Mr. Thorne, put the phone phone down. We are recording right now. We have our body cameras on. Put the phone down now. Put the phone down now. I'm being told to put the phone down. Who's vehicle is that? I have, I'm vehicle told I have a right to pull Who's vehicle is that? That is my rental car. Okay. Your rental? Yes. Hey, you got a picture of him? Yeah. What is going on? You're not allowed inside. I want to know what's we're, going on. We're going to tell you what's going on. Okay. Then you tell me right now. Relax. No, this is my house. I get that. Relax. No, you can talk to him right now. This guy. No. That's who the wolf is for. See, in your house right now, in your house right now. No, there's nobody in my house. You're wanted for attempted homicide, three officers. Okay? That's what we're here. You guys. We're not here for anything else. We're here for that. That's okay. You got my word. All right. So we go in and walk to make sure he's not in there. Okay. Tell him the tip. What? Just, go ahead. Whatever you're going to say. No. No, I swear to you right now. Okay, right now. Do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. No, listen, right now. I do not like your attitude and the way you came across. Because I said, can I pull my, I'm going to pull my phone on my pocket. No, he says, yes. When I say I'm going to start recording, you stole me to turn it off. Listen, we have our right to record right now, too. I'm going to get every one of these because I do not know what's going on here. Listen. There are several stories within this story. One, a warrantless raid that put the homeowner in a hospital. Two, Erie police officers, including Lieutenant DeLuca, caught lying in their reports that what the body-worn cameras show isn't true. Erie police don't punish their own, even with proof. How can we trust the police in Erie to tell the truth? Every criminal defense attorney will want this footage if the police officers caught lying are witnesses to give the Erie police credibility issues. If a police officer is willing to lie on paper, they will lie under oath. Three, Crime Stoppers tips are truly not confidential at all. They gave the tipster's IP address to the police as the FBI investigated as if the homeowner was responsible for the tip. The FBI investigated the homeowner, but not the police who raided the home. And by the way, the FBI cleared the homeowner of any involvement. The story is that if you give a tip to Crime Stoppers, it's not confidential at all. An open door there to the left. 
got that? Yep. Right. I got open door on my right. You coming with me to this? don't have addicts. Guess we'll done single floor. Do you want to do or no? I didn't see any indication of Talk to him in here? Sure. Or do it outside? Hey, bring him in here. Sir. Mr. Thor Mr. Thornton. Mr. Thornton. You want to put her hand down? Yeah. You just hand down. It's going to be a f***ing thing. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Bring the f*** to you here. Yeah. What's going on? All right. Mr. Thornton. So, again, like you already oh, told hold you. On, hold on. Yes. What's your name? And you're with? Yours, please. Okay, yours. Mine? Yeah. You're with the Marshal. U.S. Marshal? Yeah. And you're with? EPD. And you, sir? U.S. Marshal. All right, thank you, sir. So, Mr. Thornton, again, tip was called in last night at this residence. I'm just staying with you, okay? He's got some sort of connection with your daughter and possibly the, uh, your, is it your ex-wife or your your current wife? My wife. Okay. So he's, Well, that's under question. Yeah, keep going. Uh, yeah, not, not relevant. And that he was up here, okay, staying here for the weekend, for some reason, okay. I don't know who would call this in on you. It's an anonymous tip that's able to be emailed in or called in, okay. So that's why we're here, and because he's wanted for attempted homicide of three officers on two different occasions, okay. That's why we came in the force that we did. I totally respect the fact is that you're trying to find this asshole. Yes. Totally respect. And that. Again, no, no one meant to disrespect you in any way, but. When we're trying to get into, you know, knocking your door, and we're not getting an immediate response, and then, you, you know, you're, and I get your shock, okay, I get that. I, I told him, I have dementia, <clears> okay, <throat> I'm 52 years old with early onset dementia, early and I'm on? confused, okay, okay, I asked him to stop the consent, I looked right here, and I called you guys and said, I would draw consent, I get the stare down, can, can, I, then, can no, I ask why, though, can, can I ask why, let though? Me, let me finish my part, okay, okay. <clears throat> yes, I'll tell you why. What I did was I asked, I withdrew consent. Okay. After being asked, after being told, I can withdraw at any time. You continued in this house. It's on that security camera, this security okay. camera, and the one right outside. Okay. Okay. Again, also you, went. Let me you, do, you do understand if we're wanting attempted homicide. Okay. I, so. No, I understand. But here's the thing. <clears throat> I said, outside, when I was all confused, I just got woken up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm going to reach in my pocket. I'm going to grab my phone. Yes. Let me finish. Yeah, and we don't no, want you, listen, we don't want you reaching for stuff at that point. You understand that, though? Okay. That, that's why we're telling you don't do that stuff, okay? We don't need any more people down here. We don't need you reaching for stuff. And, you know, we're on high alert for not you. Okay. 
At that, 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 that point, though, all we want you to do is just cooperate. And, and you did, for the most part. But when we ask you not to reach your pockets, there's a reason for that, though. Okay, for your safety as well as ours. You understand can, that? Can you stop cops playing to me? Cops playing? Yeah, because I'm going to tell you right now. I don't understand right, that, that terminology. Right now, upset me. I was trying to talk. Every time I tried to talk with you, you kept interrupting me. We're not trying to interrupt you. Okay, we're, we're, we're here for one reason. Though. We're here for one reason. No, was, let was, me. You asked me a question. I was trying to answer. So now yes. you listen to me. No, see, see, so we, you you we're, we're you not, violated my rights. We're not, we're, I, we're we're not pl- listen. You gave us consent to search. Okay, we're trying to it again. We're trying to find a wanted guy for. How, and how I want to help you with that, but no, you asked me a well, question. Again, now you can let me answer. Here's a no. See, if, you want to If you want to help us, we're gonna help. We're not gonna have a discussion right now. Okay. Then why'd you ask me a question? We want about Mr. Jones. That's all we care about. You understand that? Obviously, you don't care about me. No, we, we, hey, we respect you. The fact that you've let us, let us search right now is, is do very you find any anything to do with any human in this house? Do you understand? We have to. We if have to answer that, that question. Any humans? It's, yes. There's all kinds of stuff about humans. I mean, okay. there's, there's clothes. That, other than me, I don't know anybody other than you. I don't know who else lives here. Did you find any sign of another human being here? I have no do idea. You have, do you have any information? Okay, that's been asked and answered like five times, if not greater. I have. N- I am sitting there very confused. I, okay? I get that. I have explained it to you several times, and you still continue the hard ass attitude. See, so keep interrupting when I'm asking. There's no hard ass attitude. Okay. Okay. You understand? We, we have a. I job told to do. you I'm confused, and you continue do to you know, berate me. We're not berating you. No, you, no uh, Are you talking over me? Stop and talking not over let me. See what you just did it again. Do you know this individual? That's all we want to know. Oh my God! Asked and answered. I'm saying. Asked and answered. Do you know him? Asked and answered. Yeah, you didn't ask, answer me. I'm just saying, I'm showing you a picture though. He showed me a picture. Okay, same, same picture? Yeah. Same picture? I do not. Show it on a different one. Okay. How is this related to my daughter and I'll call her? That's what we're trying to find out too. But how is her name involved in this? Your name, your address came up in. The address that you're supposed to be at. The tip came to your address. But how did I get asked about my daughter? My, her name was used. No, her, her name was is associated with you. We didn't know if she has association with him. Yes. Maybe ex-girlfriend, maybe she's oh. That's your ex-wife, right? Okay. Maybe, or your estranged wife, right? right? Okay, she has connections with you too. We know if he has connections with her. I have five kids. Is it because my kids are black? I, are your kids black? I know I know one is. That's all I know. Yeah, from, how do you from, know? Her, from her picture. So does she have connections with him? That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, now, are you going to let me talk to you? Without you interrupting me, can you just possibly can take a deep breath and not breathe, so I can finish talking? Go ahead. Okay. I was outside. I said, "I'm going to reach in my pocket, grab my phone," and that was. I asked him, and he said, "Yes, that's okay." Okay. okay. My apologies. I, I, I didn't shush. hear him say that. Don't you don't shush me. You can't, yes, I'm going to shush you. You can't uh, shut up. Okay. Talk to somebody else then. Well, I'm going to be suing you because I withdrew my consent, and you can figure it out. Lance Thornton, who was diagnosed with dementia, ended up in the hospital with a stroke after this. Lance is suing for over $3.5 million in damages. All the agencies who took part in the raid left the house a mess with damaged property, mainly the front door and frame. The damages exceeded $23,000. Lance didn't get the body cam footage from the U.S. Marshals until he submitted a proper Freedom of Information Act request. After being initially denied, he was recently given these videos. As you can see in the videos, many names were redacted or bleeped out. Looks like they're still being secretive and not being transparent. And did I forget to mention that one of the officers that went into the house spit out some chew in there? Here's what Lance wrote to me. I have attached the Administrative Action Form 95. The claim is for $3.5 million. This doesn't stop us from filing an action in federal court, but a faster way to get the responsible parties be held accountable. I also attached a court order remanding the lawsuit against the United States Marshal Service, Erie Police Department, and Pennsylvania State Police to state court that they have to identify all 26 officers involved in the raid. They said that because his calm demeanor, hidden cameras, and him pulling out his phone during the raid, they suggested he called in the raid, but that was untrue. When Lance rescinded his consent to search the house, they said they didn't hear him when you can clearly hear the agent laugh it off proving he lied on his report, which is in fact a crime. Lance also received the SWAT team's policies that the court demanded be released to him. Lance Thornton is an honorable man. He gives back to the community. He purchased the new Providence Quakerdale campus, including some contiguous pasture and 180 acres of tillable land. 
Lance Thornton has deep personal connections to the New Providence campus. A former student in the 1980s, he was profoundly impacted by Quakerdale's mission and services. Driven by genuine desire to give back and promote positive change, he aims to provide resources that will enhance the foundation's ability to make a meaningful impact on children and families across the strait and beyond. Check out this news clip and we'll get back to it after. Campus is going through a transformation into a center for agritourism. <laughs> a multi-phase plan to renovate the land includes planting a lavender farm and creating multiple wedding venues. Its new name is Quakerdale Hospitality. The new Providence campus is in central Iowa, it spans 180 acres in Hardin County, about an hour and 40 minutes from Cedar Rapids. And KCRG TV9's Becky Fell spoke to the new owner about his mission for this land. Quakerdale in New Providence holds hundreds of years worth of memories. I found heaven. It's a special place for former student Lance Thornton, who this year became the second ever owner of the New Providence campus. He has big dreams for this land. Our goal is building the world's largest lavender farm right here in Iowa. Thornton says the first phase of the project will start in April with the planting of around 17,000 lavender plants. Construction is also underway for hotel rooms and event spaces. Quakerdale was built by the community. The children here were cared for by the community, and the community helped raise the children here. And so I wanted to make sure that remain part of the community. The massive project is already drawing in people who have lived near New Providence for decades, like Ed Perry, who's helping with renovations on campus. In the 40s, he used to come out here because I had friends from out here that was in school uh, at the time, and they had a, uh, a rec room on the top floor here, and, uh, and that was pretty cool at that time because we didn't have a pool table and a ping pong table in our house. <laughs> we didn't even have inside plumbing. <laughs> He says it's incredible to see the area come back to life. It's surreal to me. This may be uh, kind of setting the, the, the bar here. Thornton says the project will create 25 jobs in the first year and be complete by 2029. But what he's most excited for will come much sooner. Seeing the campus busy, seeing young families uh, coming together, husband and wife walking hand in hand through the lavender field sea of purple. I want this to be back in the community's hands. In New Providence, Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News. Just recently, the new Quakerdale Farms owner donated a 15-passenger van to the Swahili-speaking Friends Church in Marshalltown. This generous act is part of a broader initiative to support local organizations with various item donations, such as lockers to restaurants, beds to families in need, bicycles, and appliances to various nonprofits around the state. Lance never let this incident stop him from accomplishing his goals. He is a great community member. He's become a friend of mine since I first shared his story, and we often text each other about our families. He's a great father, and he loves his kids dearly. He's proud to show photos of himself spending time with them, even when he's busy during long days of work. This is something we both recognize about each other. Community and family are two driving factors in our lives. Lance didn't deserve what these officers did to him, nor did he deserve to be laughed at, lied to, ignored, property damaged, nor denial of records. What he does deserve is the lawsuit money he's asking for. What the police deserve is for that money to come out of their own pockets and for the cop who lied on his report to be charged and convicted. But maybe I'm too much of a wishful thinker. I oftentimes get reminded of my delusions along the way. Lance Thornton aims to continue the work of Quaker philanthropist Josiah White. I will be dropping his channel link in the description and pinned comment for you guys, as well as all the documents he'll allow me to post, such as records and lawsuits. You guys, please make sure to go over to Lance's channel. Let him know how much you appreciate him, not only for the tremendous work that he's done, but for standing up against tyranny and posting these videos so that we can review them and learn from them. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Keep your cameras handy. You never know when you're going to need them. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.